speed, Axiom 1. The launch of the Axiom 1 mission heading to the International Space Station with its four-man crew is historic. In the past, the Russian Space Agency has flown individuals to the ISS. This is different, much different. It is the first completely private mission to the station. Axiom Space is using a SpaceX commercial vehicle. The commander of the crew is Axiom Vice President and former U.S. Space Shuttle astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria. The three other crew members from the U.S., Canada, and Israel are all paying customers, each reportedly paying $55 million for the trip. But this is not, the company insists, a spring break vacation. Everybody on the crew is, um, as I said, been very dedicated, very committed, very professional in this, and we really are taking this very, very seriously. It's, uh, it is not tourism. I think it's fantastic that it's an international crew. Um, I think it's also equally important to all of us that the, the crew's not just going to, uh, they're, they're not up there to paste their nose on the window, they really are going up there to do meaningful research. After flying on a Russian spacecraft, Anusha Ansari spent nine days on the space station in 2006. There is clearly a place for space tourism, she says, but in her case, she's not fond of the label. We're space explorers. We are space explorers. While it's not known how much Ansari paid for the flight, she didn't go just to look out the window. During her time on the station, she conducted several experiments for the European Space Agency on the effects of space flight on the human body. Ansari says the space flight experience changes you spiritually. I can tell you firsthand that it changes your perspective. Uh, it shows you, you know, uh, in a very real sense, uh, how fragile our environment is, how special our planet is, and how interconnected we all are. During their eight days on the ISS, the three paying customers, Aton Stibby, Mark Pathy, and Larry Connor, will conduct some 25 research projects. The mission, Axiom execs say, is a flag bearer for future private astronaut flights. We're looking at things including stem cells, uh, cardiac health, we're looking at uh, spacecraft self-assembly, to prepare for the trip, the crew went through more than 1,000 hours of training. Some of it was spent at NASA's Johnson Space Center, familiarizing themselves with the station layout. They also flew what's called the zero gravity flight to get a feel for weightlessness. And they went to SpaceX and trained inside the Dragon capsule, which is their ride to the ISS. This, Axiom says, is just the first of several planned flights. And the company has even loftier goals. Axiom wants to beat out its competitors for the first commercially owned and operated space station in operation by 2028. For my radar, I'm John Zeroa. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.